Hey there folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business and I'm glad you tuned into the channel today because we're gonna cover a little workaround that sometimes people need and that would be how to change your license number in point of sale without actually having to reinstall the entire program. And so this is a little folder workaround where you can actually just change up your license number right on the fly and point of sale won't have a problem with it, it'll be all right. Um, before we get into that, don't forget to click on the description down below. We got a link there that gets over to our QuickBooks Point of Sale Facebook group. Join up the group. We'll see you there. I'm, I'd be happy to talk to you there. Uh, you can ask any questions about errors or training or what have you in that group and people such as myself or other Point of Sale users will answer your questions. It's a great little community we have running. Uh, otherwise, if you're on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you get all the new videos coming out all the time. And let's go ahead and do this. So this is going to be in your folders. So you're going to open up an explorer window for folders. Uh, right now I'm going to be on the C drive. And then in the C drive you're going to look for program data. If you don't see program data, then what you're going to do is click on the view tab up here at the top. This is in Windows 10. Uh, if you're in a different version of Windows, you're going to have to find it somewhere in the view settings, but we want to put the check mark to show hidden items. The program data folder is a hidden item and it's not usually there at first until you check that check mark. So then you can double click on it. In the next folder, you're going to go down to into it. In the Intuit folder, you're gonna find your version of point of sale, whatever that might be, and double click on it. Now inside of that folder, and here once again I'll show you, this is C, program data, Intuit, and then the version of point of sale you're in. Inside of that folder, you are going to find qbregistration.dat. Uh, if it looks like a notepad, then you can open it right up, but if it doesn't, you're going to right click and go to open with. And on open with, you're going to find notepad or something like it, like I have notepad plus plus here, and go ahead and open it that way. So once it's open in notepad, you can see uh, your installation date, the license number, and the product ID. And so what you can actually do here is if you have um, received a different license number, sometimes Intuit does this when they're giving you more um, users or you're changing something or maybe you're in multi-store and you're changing up which store has which license because I have certain customers who are on multi-store and they're constantly doing different things with their license numbers, juggling them around. Okay, we decided we're not gonna use that one there as a second station, we're gonna put it over here in this other store. So I, on occasion, run into somebody who wants to just change their license number to a different store. And so here you have it, you can actually just change this and type it in and then save the file and then the next time you open point of sale oh that that's the one caveat you you probably need to uh, close point of sale before you change this number because it's currently running with that number so go ahead and close point of sale before you do this and then change the number and then save it and then close it and then you can start point of sale up again and it should be just fine it should run with the new license number and no problem. So there you have it. Thanks for coming along on this, how to edit your license number in the text file and you can change it to a different license number and go on your merry way. My name's Peter with BlackRock Business and you have yourself a wonderful day now. We'll talk to you soon. Don't forget to leave comments down below if you wanna comment on anything and I'll, I'll uh, reply back as soon as I can. All right, have a good day. Bye-bye.